What's up amigos? If you're new, my name is Antonio and this is Think Build Up. Okay, so if you saw my last video, this year, 2020, I'm going to try to upload more. And start today, we're going to talk about the inks that I use here. Because someone told me to make a video about the inks that I use. So that's what we're going to do today. Alright, so let's start talking about ink. And mainly the ink that I use here. And the one I use is called Sanchez. And it's the, it's the Mexican brand. And... It's the only thing they sell here in my city at the supply store. That's why Sanchez is a more easily accessible one. That's why it's kind of popular here because, well, it's, it's, if you're living in a small city, you're basically only getting that. So, yeah. So, at my supply store where I go, you could buy, because Sanchez, they sell quarter, like these small containers. <coughs> my bad. This smell, uh, they sell these small containers. It's like, I think a quarter. Yeah, one quarter of a kilo. You could buy like that. Or you could buy half a kilo. Or the extra kilo. And at the supply store where I go, what they do is they buy these big ones. Or, yeah, these big ones. And they just fill them up in their own containers. That way they get a bigger profit. But yeah. But here, this for this amount of ink, they call it between like 70 and 80 pesos. No, between 70 and 90 pesos, depending on the color you get. And this one, I don't remember exactly how much this cost me, but I think it was like around 250 pesos. Not quite sure. But if you go to Mexico City, like the master has told me, it's way cheaper over there, especially if you go to the actual Sanchez to their, how you say, to their supply store. Way cheaper, man. And like I mentioned, it's the only thing they sell here. And they do have other inks. They have for they have vinyl ink, and they have um, I don't know what the other one's called, but yeah, they have different kinds of inks. But I only use some um, for clothing because that's the only thing I do. The vinyl ink, I don't like it because it stinks, and I don't have experience with that yet printing those kind of prints. And even if I do printing something like that most likely I'll go to the maestro because here in my dungeon if I use that it's going to stink up the room and the only bad things I don't like about these scientist inks is they come real thick I mean they're real thick man as you saw in my other video where I was doing the John Lennon when I was testing this white ink I had to use this reducer and here it's called Oxidia and then they set up by the leader don't remember how much this cost me. I totally forgot. And someone has mentioned on the comments where, because I kept adding a lot. And they were saying if you add too much reducer, it is going to be less bright. The color is going to be less opaque. And yeah, so you got to be careful with that. You don't want to add too much. For example, here they have all their inks. For example, this one, uh, I never used that one. They have a lot of inks, types of inks and colors. For example, this one's for the one I'm using right now. God thinks it's for clothing for our fabric. But yeah, they have a lot of inks, man. I think there were actually like... I don't know how many flyers of these. I lost a few of them, but there's a lot, man. And I am trying to get a hold of some better ink. There is another brand. that There's someone here selling it. But I seen it get that number from the master because they're the ones that call them and... They'll deliver to you wherever you're at. So I'm going to try to get one of those things just to test it out. Because some people say it's better than Sanchez. But even the master said that on some colors it is better. But on certain colors it's not. So I'm going to try to buy some of those and give it a try. As well, for example, I have this other ink. So I actually got this in Festival Mexico 2018. It was a free sample I got because this was the... Pantone mixing color system and I try to do like a certain type of red before I bought this one but as you can tell it came out more magenta but they gave it to me so that's pretty cool and I tested it out and I actually liked the ink quality I mean, it's a lot creamier and 
when you print it, the print is a lot more opaque, better than this Sanchez. But I just can't remember what brand of ink this was. And I totally forgot. I had a flyer somewhere, but I lost it. So I have no idea what ink is this is. And I try, and I totally forgot. I should have asked when I went to Fest Mexico 2000. The when I probably went, I should have asked them. But yeah, so next year, well, not this next year, it's actually this year. If I go again, I gotta try to find what it is. But I am trying to get a hold of some better inks. I'm trying to get a hold of Will, how do you say it? Will Flex? Will Flex? I think that's what it's called. So one of my goals, not my... So one of my mission is for this year is to go to actual Mexico City. Cause there's a street there, I can't remember exactly the name of it, but literally the whole block is nothing but screen printing materials. You could buy inks, materials, clothes, I mean shirts, you know, backpacks, you know, everything for screen printing related. You can find it right there. And I'm trying to go there to see what else do they sell because that's where I'll find better equipment as well as chemicals for, you know, for cleaning because I do use gasoline. <laughs> to clean the ink off my screens and I do use um, bleach to reclaim my screens and I don't mind doing those with the wood screens, the cheap wood screens but since I'm going to be upgrading to aluminum screens the last thing I want to do is throw those chemicals on there and I don't be struggling right there so I, will, I am going to try to get some better you know reclaiming and cleaning chemicals that way take better care of my aluminum screens because those are expensive compared to my wood screen so yeah so I'm going to try to go to Mexico City one day go and buy a lot of things because to go over there man it's like 500 pesos the round trip for the bus so it's gonna be worth it to buy certain materials the last thing I want to do is go, go all the way over there for just a little small thing so yeah so I'm gonna try to go there get some inks chemicals and I don't know what else I can find over there another, another thing I do want to mention is for those people who are just starting out you know when I first me when I was in that position as well I was thinking that I had to buy all the inks all the colors but you don't have to do that I mean I first started by just buying black and white because that would have been for the most simple prints for example a white t-shirt just do a black print and for our dark t-shirt, a white print, and those are the most simple prints you get. So that's what I did. I just ended up buying black and white first. And when I will get like a certain print job where I need another color, then I'll get that color. Then I have it already stocked up. And that's how slowly I build up my inventory. For example, how many colors do I have right now? I only have black, blue, red, white. I'll include this one. Even though I didn't buy it, but I'll include a five. I have the yellow and green only seven colors man yeah pretty good with that to every print job that's how you slowly build up your inventory and I'm, I'm going to try to buy these bigger ones because these small ones man the price compared to this one eh, it's worth buying this but it's kind of expensive for me but I will try to buy bigger ones so that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the inks that I use. And again, it's not the best inks, but you know, I gotta make the best of what I have so far. And hopefully one day I will be able to get more brands of inks in here so I could work, have better print. But in the meantime, this is what I have to do. And if you have any questions about this ink or anything else, feel free to leave in the comments below. Or if you have a certain idea of a video you want me to make about, uh, let me know because someone did ask me to make a video about the inks I use so finally it would I finally was able to do it so yeah but don't forget to subscribe and social media in the meantime amigos I'll see you guys next time